Ato Kidu originally hails from Hanwabada and Pari village. She believes having a proper assembly structure will open doors for development and effective service delivery. I just wonder why it didn't happen in the last five years. And this is quite uh, uh, critical and it's, it's pivotal for the structure you know, to fully fu function. Once they see that is in place, they will you know, be willing to come in and uh, pour in uh, you know, funds to, you know, for additional projects. In her visits to various Motukoitabu villages, many have raised concerns regarding customary land. Mrs. Kidu said this must be the first priority of the new Motukoitabu Assembly, to manage what is left of customary land. Land shortage now raises the importance of building a stable and adequate human resource to engage in the money-making economy. We have to educate um, our people, whether it be, you know, the school-aged children or the adults uh, to get used to a new trend of a uh, uh, lifestyle. Yeah. They have to get into uh, the mindset that uh, their life is uh, based around uh, you know, an economy, cash economy. Yeah. There, there's no longer land for gardening or the, their own uh, sea for fishing and, and you know, agriculture or, uh, and initiatives and all of those things have to be taken into account. Mrs. Kidu is the only female competing among 13 male counterparts for the assembly chairmanship. Meantime, there are currently over 300 women contesting the July local-level government elections.